Okay, Harris, um, how is Android Auto that we saw at last year's I.O. different from Android in a car as you've shown it to us today? So the difference is that Android Auto is an application that is running on your phone. And when you take your phone and you connect it to the car, either via USB, for example, plugging it in and just uh, uh, connecting to the car, it's going to project applications from your phone directly into the screen. What we have here is the Android operating system running fully in the vehicle, which means the phone is not required. You can put the phone away, and when you start up the car, you will have Android operating system fully running in a car. So this is Android N, in this case, which is an operating system that's got an open platform that we're gonna release, while Android Auto is an application that is running on the phone. And you said you will release the, 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 the templates and the designs and some of the software yes. so that uh, car manufacturers can build that without having to go to the Android Auto certification? Uh, so it's not about necessarily just certification. The reason why we're releasing some of the templates, which is the same thing that we've done with Android operating system that's running on the phones, is that it allows the uh, partners to have a reference implementation to see how to do things or how we've done things. So for example, we have a reference implementation over here of a dialer, which shows how the phone could be, for example, running. Uh, same thing on the phone, when we re release Android operating system, we have a reference implementation of a phone dialer that uh, partners can choose to use, or they can use it as a reference, or they can completely replace it with their phone dialer. Mm -hmm. So what's going to happen to Android Auto now that we have Android in a car? Um, nothing. Actually, the both products are going to continue to evolve. Uh, we feel that there is space for both of those products to exist and actually become bigger and better over time. So for Android Auto, for example, we're adding things such as wireless connectivity so you don't have to use USB cable to actually uh, plug in and connect. Uh, on the Android uh, embedded side of, for example, Android Den that we're going to release, we're going to see a lot more features that are going to enable partners to do more things with a vehicle uh, as the next version of Android evolves, such as O and etc. Thank you, Harris. No problem.